Hi there, I'm wearing the Amazfit Bip Lite and as the name says, it's a lighter version of the Amazfit Bip smartwatch, cutting out a few features. It's currently selling for just 2999 on Amazon.in. But the price keeps fluctuating. The product is company's cheapest device under the Amazfit range of smartwatches. I did an unboxing over a month ago and I'm using it all this while so I can share my full experience with you. First, I'll show you the unboxing and then follow it with a full review. But before that, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates. This is your friend texting. Let's get started. So here is the retail packaging of the Amazfit Bip Lite. You can see this is a square design, it looks very similar to an Apple Watch, Amazfit branding below. Let's quickly open the box. Inside the box is the Amazfit Bip Lite, a proprietary charging dock and a quick start instruction guide. Let's have a physical overview. On the front is a 1.2 inch always on display with 2.5D curved glass with a resolution of 176 by 176 pixels. The bottom is made of plastic and has a heart rate sensor along with charging terminals. The soft silicon wristband is comfortable to wear for long durations. It's designed to fit on slim as well as thick wrist. It can easily be replaced with any standard 20mm third party bands. There is a button on the right side for backlight. It can be configured to launch a specific activity tracking when you long press it. The charger is designed like a stand to set on your desk or bedside. You can see the display or time while it's charging. Frankly, the design doesn't matter for a device that needs to be charged after 30-40 days. The bigger problem is finding the charger after so many days. Build quality is impressive and we like the matte black finish on the frame. The BIP light has a square shaped display with a trans reflective screen. There are advantages of having a trans reflective display as well as disadvantages. The advantages include low battery consumption and ease of readability even under direct sunlight. Disadvantages are that it's a basic 8 color display. Now 8 color display is really poor for a time where smart bands and watches are having stellar AMOLED color displays. But let's get our priorities right. The color reproduction is not its strongest point, but always on display is mind boggling impressive. In fact, always on display visibility is brilliant under direct sunlight and the other biggest pro being super long battery. So you have to choose between the excellent color display and a short battery or decent display and a super long battery. I prefer the latter. This is exactly why I haven't removed it ever since I've worn it. Literally, if you see my videos from the past 40 days, you will spot me wearing this in all. Moving on, the interface however is pretty basic. Status shows our steps, distance and calories burnt. In activity, we can start our workouts. weather, alarms. You can turn alarms on and off but you can't set or change the time or day. You can only do that through the app. Further on timer to turn on stopwatch and countdown. And then settings. Here you can change some pre-installed watch faces. Nothing really exciting but there are a few options, digital and analog. However, there are tons and tons of watch faces that you can install on it from third party apps. I'll come to that later. Long press the button to quick start an activity. You have an option to custom set it as I said before and below is the brightness setting. It gets quite bright. You can lower it to save some battery. Pretty basic user interface but most of the heavy lifting is done over the phone app. The Bip Lite band works on both Amazfit app as well as the Mi Fit app. The app is available on both Android and iOS. It connects over Bluetooth for transferring data to the companion app where you can view it in an easy to understand graphical format. Like any smartwatch, the Bip Lite also tracks your activity and sleep. There is also an option to track your heart rate, including a continuous heart rate tracking option. But keep in mind this impacts battery life. There are some more watch faces that you can download from this app. Again, very limited and non-exciting. App alerts can be customized from which apps you want to receive notifications and from which you don't. I've kept the wrist view to off as the always on display is showing all the details. Saves even more battery when the display doesn't light up so often. The watch is also capable of showing incoming notifications from the phone. You can even set it to give you sedentary reminders if you sit for too long. 
The Bip Lite is also 3ATM waterproof, which means rain, sweat, water splashes should be fine. Not recommended for swimming though. However, let me tell you that I wear it in the shower every day and I've worn it for a swim too, no problem. Just saying, not recommending. Being a toned down version, it offers limited sport tracking models. You can only get the options to track walking, running, treadmill and cycling. Our activity tracking was quite accurate when compared to the Mi Band 4. Sleep tracking was spot on with details about light and heavy sleep visible neatly on the app. Also keep in mind that compared to the Amazfit Bip, the Bip Lite lacks a built-in GPS and uses a connected GPS from your phone. What impressed me most is the watch's battery life. The Amazfit claims 45 days of battery life, but I got 29 days of backup on single charge, which was super impressive. The watch charges from 0 to 100 in under 2 hours. So I have a problem with the word smartwatch. Yes, it looks like a watch and also a lot of people who see me wearing this have asked me which series Apple watch is this? And that's fine because it does look similar, but smartwatches are a different breed altogether. Just let me explain it to you in a minute. Smartwatches can install third-party apps, reply to messages or notifications and answer calls. But a Misfit Bib can do neither. So it's basically a fitness tracker in the shape of a watch. Comparing this to a smartwatch would be wrong. Most smartwatches start from 10 to 15,000, going up to 40, 50,000 if you're looking for an Apple Watch. Moving to the watch faces. So there is an app called Amaze Tools, which is available for iOS and Android, and it has tons and tons of watch faces. The one I'm currently using is also from here. It's called the Nike Watch Face. You can check it out here. Download and install. Only make sure that the Amazfit or the MeFit app is running on the background for watch faces to sync. The watch faces choices are almost endless on this app. So finally, I can recommend this to you if your priority is always on display, super long battery life, comfort and a fitness tracker that looks like a watch more than a fitness band. The price does keep fluctuating a lot. On Amazon and Flipkart sale time, you can get this for as low as 2,500. I'll leave the links in the description along with the links of the Amazfit Bip, which comes with built-in GPS. Lots of color options to choose from as well. If you'd like to buy one, do check it out. So I hope you all had a fabulous Diwali. Feel free to write down in the comments if there are any feedbacks or questions. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you all soon. Cheers.